guys thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of skin time to be with ashley sutton so in this episode <laughs> i'm doing another little project i'm kind of on this little bit of a roll where i'm doing a lot of fall cleaning that's kind of been the mode that i've been in for the last i don't know a couple weeks not too long ago i got back from a festival um, really at, like the beginning of September so about a month and a week ago maybe I don't know who's counting but kind of a while ago it was a really fun festival I had a really great time and I thought I was gonna record like so much more footage y'all but if I'm gonna be completely honest I didn't get around to it I didn't feel comfortable bringing my camera into the campgrounds and into the event grounds so didn't get a lot of footage I um, did have some subscribers ask me about pictures just because I know I mentioned it in some earlier episodes so <laughs> it was not gonna be fair of me to not show you like anything from that event so here's some pictures see I had a really good time it was a really neat experience and it was so pretty out there but as you can imagine it's so freaking dusty <laughs> like it was so dusty out there it was so grassy super dirty dirt everywhere and dirt got all over my white shoes dust got all over my black boots there's a whole bunch going on but as you can tell by the title of this episode I am going to try to get some of those clean here is the worst here is like why we're really here this is like, <laughs> this is the star of the show. My Converse are so dirty. Like these are like all, I was gonna say all white, but they're like an off white Converse and they're looking like they're tan right now or like they're really, really old. And they look like they belong to like someone back in the 60s or something. I'm just saying. And hadn't been loved. They've just been in somebody's um, closet or stored away, but yeah point is these look horrible and they need to be cleaned so this is why we're here like I said I have some other shoes some other things going on with it are like you see the little dark marks that are on the holes here the lace holes whatever you want to call them and then the dark marks that are on the tongue that's from this metal here and from my shoestrings rubbing up against them so even my shoestrings I've already washed those and they're as clean as they can get but are still a little weird looking because of the black marks that are on them so i don't know if i'll be able to get these black marks out but i definitely need to get this brown tint out it's ridiculous then i figured while i was at it i was going to clean my tibas i'm not going to wear these obviously again until spring and summer so why not give them a wash that they never had and um, so I'm going to try to use this recipe that I found to clean the Converse with, with these. So like I said, I found a recipe online to clean the both of them. There were two different tricks that I saw for each of them, or one for each of them, but they were two different tricks. So for the Converse, it said to soak them in cold water for 15 minutes and then scrub them with like a paste where I'm supposed to use two parts baking soda and one part white vinegar, specifically white vinegar so that it doesn't get stained so that the shoes do not. Oh, um, but specifically white vinegar so that the shoes wouldn't get stained by regular colored vinegar. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna make sure I do that. But then the Tebas actually said, soak them in water, two cups of water and one cup of Listerine or antibacterial soap. So I was like, all right, that's different. Um, so I'm gonna go with the Converse recipe and if that doesn't work on these shoes or if I feel like I can get a better clean, then I'll use the Listerine soak, but I'll have to do that another day because I don't have Listerine to use on this and I'm definitely not going to use blue or green Listerine. I'd rather use a clear one like from the dollar store So I'll get that 
Listerine and try it on these if the first recipe doesn't work. But yeah, so I have this weird setup and I'm in the hallway because I didn't know where else to do this and to be able to shoot it best. So here I am, got my little section going on here. This is um, a small little tin bucket that I actually used to wash Ralph and he's hiding from me right now because he thinks he's gonna get a bath, but I am using this to soak my shoes in so it's filled with cold water. You can kind of see it. <laughs> I'm not gonna tilt it anymore. And then I have my white vinegar here. My baking soda, I got baking soda. I'm also using a toothbrush and a little plastic container so that I can mix up the solution. All right, so I've wrapped up and finally finished cleaning the shoes as best as possible. Um, the Tevas turned out pretty good. I think they got a lot more clean and I honestly um, will try to do a little bit more to clean them, but I'm pretty satisfied with how much more clean they've gotten. But yeah, the Converse, they didn't get that clean. So let me show you the Tevas. First, just because they look the best so the soles of the shoes definitely got super super clean the straps could get a little bit cleaner to my liking so I'm going to continue to try to figure out how to get them a little bit cleaner yeah these are how the Converse turned out they're still brown uh, they got a maybe a tad bit lighter, but definitely not good enough. So we're gonna soak these a little bit longer in baking soda and then I'm gonna try to put these in the wash. So I'm gonna do some research on it and see the whole reason why I started with the old fashioned hand wash in the first place was because I wanted to avoid the, um, the machine damaging the shoe possibly. So if I can hand wash it, then cool. If not, we'll see what we can do about using the washing machine. So that is what we're gonna do. So it's bright and early, but I did end up putting my shoes in the wash after I let them soak in some more water with baking soda. So let's show you how they turned out because from the look of the bag, it's looking pretty promising. Um, I ended up putting them in this little zip bag so that they wouldn't get messed up while they're tumbling around. Um, and you'll have to not mind my hair. I just put in a little ponytail um, and got it wrapped up. So super cute because my homecoming's tomorrow. So yeah. 
These are the Tevas. I just really wanted to start with these because like, wow, spotless. Like the baking soda definitely got a nice little clean, but then throwing them in the wash afterwards just really got the rest of it. And um, I'm very pleased. So these look almost brand new. My shoes were so dirty. You could see just how brown. You could barely tell that they were white. Well, <laughs> y'all, yeah. I cannot make up how great these look again. So obviously, like I said, the tongue, I'm not able to get rid of that black part, but you don't really see that. Um, you don't see that at all, actually, because it's where the hole is covered and the laces will cover that up too. But remember how I was saying my laces have little black in them? You can kind of see it. And these were bleached. So, uh, yeah. Well, they were cleaned with like a little bit of bleach. So I guess I didn't do the best job, but I still don't think it's that big of a deal. These are still not as clean as I wanted them to get, but they look a lot better. And I do think that if I washed them again, washed them again, like the next time I washed them, I could get them a little bit wider. I did put like a tad of bleach in my uh, cleaning stuff too, but I didn't want to do too much because obviously these shoes are not all white like the Tevas. So yeah, but for what they looked like before, this looks so great. And I'll definitely be wearing these again now. So. All that to say, the baking soda really helped. It helped to get a nice little start and kind of scruff up some of the dirt off of the Tevas especially, but just a little bit off of the Converse. The Converse were a little bit more difficult with the canvas material, but at the end of the day, after doing that and soaking it and then putting it in the wash, I think it just made the wash so much more easy to get rid of everything. So that was, that's, yeah. I'm happy. What I ended up putting in my washing machine was OxyClean, Borax, a little bit of bleach, and a little bit of detergent because I was scared that it was gonna turn my clothes blue. But I used some pretty powerful cleansers um, and I think that that helped to just kind of put the icing on the cake. My Converse are clean and that was the main thing, so. Like I said, it's like one o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna get ready to go to bed. But thanks you guys so much for watching. If you learned something new and now you're gonna be able to clean Converse and Tevas or whatever shoe, thanks to my video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and let me know what you did or some better ways or methods that could help me clean my shoes a lot more efficiently next time and whatever you do for your white shoes or just any shoes don't forget to share and hit the notification bell so you do not miss a single beat when next week's episode drops and that's it guys thanks so much for tuning in i am off to bed <laughs>